From 1863 to the 1880s, a vineyard infestation of phylloxera aphids ruined the grape harvest in Europe and especially in France. One after effect was the prevalence of sugared up wines from abroad, the sugar increasing the alcohol content at the expense of wine quality. The persistence of government promotion of these tampered wines, or wine fraud, lowered the prices for real wine. That, combined with high taxes, led to the revolt of the Languedoc wine growers in 1905 to 07. One slogan, to have so much good wine and not be able to eat bread. The movement was also called the Pauper's Revolt. A large majority of the small cooperating wine growers in Languedoc and Roussillon held socialist or even communist views. Pooling of production tools and profits from sales, the basic principle of cooperative sellers, thus forming a Midi Rouge, the Red South of France. The reason I know about this isn't because I'm well educated or anything like that, but because I ran across this record album while we were staying at Jean Guy and Sabine's house in Paris. These are songs from the strike. Here's the famous one. In 1905, on a visit to the wine growing area, the socialist leader Jean Jaurès explained that the peasants had to unite instead of refusing to help each other, using this allegory, quote, in a vineyard, contrary and mad grapes said that they did not want to go with their brothers who let themselves be picked. They did what they wanted and what happened was that they rotted on the stump, while the others went to the vat where they made the good wine that rejoices hearts. Peasants, do not stay away. Put together your wishes and, in the vat of the Republic, prepare the wine of the Socialist Revolution. A rally in Narbonne in 1907 drew 100,000. In Perpignan, there were 200,000. In June, the rally in Montpellier drew 800,000, amounting to half the population of the Languedoc region. Troops were sent but the 17th Line Infantry Regiment, composed of reservists and conscripts from the region, mutinied, looting the armory and fraternizing with the demonstrators. They peacefully opposed the armed forces already in the city of Béziers. The mayor of Narbonne resigned and advocated civil disobedience. The governments of 442 municipalities then also resigned. The entire political spectrum united against Prime Minister Clemenceau. The revolt was suppressed, but so was wine fraud. Prisoners were released, and trials were never held. The Occitan language, not French, was the mother tongue of the Midi wine growers. 